We are witnessing history. Rarely before has a hurricane barreled forward with so many major American cities in her path. Irene is roaring up the East Coast tonight. The hurricane's eye is moving into Virginia. You're looking live at Nags Head, North Carolina, pummeling that region all day. And now the view from another perspective. You can see from space that is the angry swirling high above Earth tonight. And this evening, Irene is a Category 1 hurricane. Winds of 80 miles an hour gusts well above 100. But meteorologists do warn, even though she is a Category 1, Irene is very large, very slow, swirling over some cities for 12 to 18 hours straight. Ten inches of rain already have fallen on North Carolina, many areas bracing for storm surges of 10 feet. And at this hour, at least four people have died. More than 750,000 have lost power. 2.3 million have been ordered to evacuate. Sam Champion with the track right now. He's standing by in a moment, and so is our team of correspondents and ABC stations in the path of this storm. But we begin here with ABC's Matt Gutman in North Carolina tonight. Matt, good evening. David, we saw today how treacherous this storm can be. We went right into the inner eye wall with a group of storm chasers, and there we felt rain coming down. It felt like needles stinging us right in the face, and the wind made it impossible to walk. That's how powerful it was. And we came back here, and we realized that in this type of weather and hurricane, there is literally no safe place. That railing was just ripped off into the ocean behind you. And by the way, the Atlantic there, that was a beach yesterday. The actual ocean was about 200 yards farther down. Hurricane Irene exploded into North Carolina today as a Category 1 hurricane, blasting wind and rain. It weakened from its peak strength, but it remains a massive storm, 700 miles wide, and tonight is already being blamed for at least four deaths in North Carolina and Virginia. I've never seen the waves that big out there. There, an 11-year-old boy was killed after a tree collapsed on an apartment complex. So the, the eye wall is right there, yeah, literally there, right there. there. Today, ABC News got an exclusive look at the monster storm from the inside, riding along with storm chaser Reed Timmer. Yeah, but it, it, that was an intense band that was just on the outside, and then the eye is still to come. We jumped back in to follow the storm, which mercilessly pummeled the mid-Atlantic, thrashing Norfolk and slamming through this Cape Hatteras gas station. So powerful that it knocked this church steeple on its side and ripped roofing tiles and shingles from buildings and those fierce winds piling up tremendous amounts of water. Look at the waves in Palomenco Sound, normally flat, now swallowing a house and this boat, and forcing a dramatic rescue on the Chesapeake. Rescuers had to use a rope to pull out two survivors. And David, we're just coming out of the front end of the storm, haven't even yet been hit by its tail end, which when it comes could bring even more rain up to 12, maybe 15 inches. And that is going to increase the massive amount of flooding that we've already seen here. Storm surges of 15 feet and even higher. And when the 300,000 people who left here, either for who vacationers or residents, come back here, they're going to have a lot of work to do to pick up the pieces.